Hey everyone, today we are looking at the limited edition dual sense and console covers for the PS5. This is for the Final Fantasy 16 game. Uh, here I have the deluxe and the steel book, which I'm gonna keep still just because I buy my games in digital format, but I love this game, so I'll keep it as a collector piece. So starting off, let's take a look at the dual sense. Uh, this is the front of the box right here. Pretty much uh, standard in terms of packaging for all their uh, limited edition dual senses up to date. Here's the side. Here's the other side. Oh, oh by the way, you may have noticed this is only uh, a Japanese release. It was never released in other countries or territories as far as I know. So I had to import this from Japan. So here's the inside box. As you may have noticed, the American version of controllers come in a white box and the Japanese come in a brown box. At least that's so far what I've noticed with my other controllers I imported from Japan versus the US version. Comes in a poly bag and a manual. Uh, nothing um, you know, out of the norm. The USB-C charging cable only comes with the actual console, not with the controller itself. Here's a spread out of the, I guess, the manual here in Japanese. And nothing to, uh, I guess, important other than just you know how to function and use it, the controller and how to charge it. Here's a look at the Dolce controller itself. The controller has a matte black base color finish with some very faint uh, sky blue accent color and of course the very uh, cool bronze goldish color as you see it here. It's based on the icon menu screen where you select different skill sets and powers and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool design, pretty cool. The top of the controller doesn't have any design changes, it's just standard black. Same thing for the left and right uh, triggers. But on the back side has the Final Fantasy 16 logo in like a grayish color. Pretty cool. Nice little touch. Coming back to the front here. The controller itself feels the same in terms of just, you know, grippiness, uh, clickiness, responsiveness, uh, nothing changed there. It's just the paint job and the design. Now, I will say this, the original PR photos that Sony released for this controller made it look kind of dull and bland, but no, in hand, in person, it has a nice, like, shimmer, little slight reflection uh, to it, as you can tell, uh, based on the background, my LED lights, how it's kind of like shining off or reflecting off of the controller. It's pretty cool. Alright, next up are the console covers. So now we are going to look at the limited edition console covers. This is for the physical slash disc version. They also make a digital version as well. As you can quickly tell, the console cover is pretty bare, it's pretty minimal, but I think it has a nice elegant touch to it. Simplicity goes a long way. It's just a matte black finish with the uh, bronze uh, finish and uh, Phoenix versus e uh illustration on the side. So just doing a quick look at all the sides of the box. Uh, here's the logos, the top panel which just has nothing on it, just blue and the back side, and then the bottom, um, like barcode stuff. And on the back side it is the same illustration that's on the cover, except it's just really zoomed in. So Phoenix on the top left, e free on the bottom right, and some Japanese uh, verbiage down here. All right, time to unbox it. 
like the controller, it comes in a brown box. US console covers come in a white box. By the way, I hate these little side flaps. They will rip easily if you're not careful on talking it. It ripped on my original PS5 console. And now with the cat out of the bag, uh, let's go ahead and unbox the uh, console covers themselves. Let me find the opening part. I don't know where it's located. Is it here? Oh, here it is. So here are the two cover plates. The thin side on the top is the one with the illustration and the other thicker side is the part for the disc drive. Here's a quick look at the uh, startup guide. Basically, it just explains how to remove your current console covers and how to install the new covers. And now the moment everyone has been waiting for. Here's the console cover side with the illustration of Phoenix versus Ifrit. It is black base color, but the Art itself is bronze. Just like the controller, it has a nice uh, little paint shimmer to it based on the light source that's hitting it. So like, for example, the little background LED lights I have going on, the gradients, it, it's reflecting off of it. So yes, while it is bronze, it can sometimes have a gold, a blue, a green, or red hue to it, which is a nice little uh, three, you know, I guess 3D dimensional color effect to it. Nothing too special here, just the inside parts with the little hooks that grip onto the console itself. So coming back to the design of the console cover, while it is nice as is, very nicely done, I do wish there was like a subtle design motif as you see it here, that circular icon selecting menu screen it just would have added a little bit more depth but it's okay what is actually there it's still pretty awesome very simple now take a look at the other side of the console cover it's so like nothing it's just matte black that's it there's no design cue or anything I kind of wish uh, Square or Sony did something here maybe adding the Final Fantasy 16 logo or Squaresoft logo or something And of course, the other side are just the hooks to grip onto the console. So let's move on to the next segment. I'm going to install these two covers. Pulling off the console covers has always been tricky to me. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but like whenever I do, it always guarantees will scratch up my console as you see it here. Here's the first plate being installed. I think it goes on easier when you put it on versus taking it off, but um, yeah, it, it just, Align the hooks and then push it forward. And that's pretty much it. You, you will hear a click, though, for sure. Next up is the other side of the console. Same uh, process, except this time you will hold it by the bottom right corner and sliding it to the left. It's very stress inducing whenever you try to remove the console cover. It's just it just doesn't want to come off, but it, it will. Just you have to kind of use the elbow grease. And now we can insert the disc version of the console cover. And notice the scratch marks. It's just impossible to remove without scratching the console. So 
So here's the complete setup of both covers installed. And on the left side here, we have, uh, again, bronze finish of Phoenix versus Ifrit. And also, on the uh, top left corner of the PS logo, I might need to change it. It is kind of clashing now. I'm kind of torn because that PS logo, that retro logo, uh, looks nice on the white console, but it clashes with this Final Fantasy cover and the Spider-Man cover, which I haven't done in unboxing yet, but I will do it later. And here's the other side, uh, just nothing going on, just straight up matte black finish here. This concludes my unboxing video for the limited edition Final Fantasy 16 DualSense controller and cover plates. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. If you want to see more like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.